Good morning, Art Town. My name is Reagan Dickard. I'm an artist and illustrator in Seattle, Washington. Hi, Shannon. Um, and it is 11 a.m. and that means it's time to draw together. Woot woot. Woot woot. Hi, how's it going? Um, so this morning, as I told my patrons, um, I'm gonna be working on master studies and initially i'd uh, said i wanted to work on um a master study of like backgrounds and this morning in the shower i decided instead i want to do character design so <laughs> um since i last minute changed my my mind in the shower see my hair still wet um i need to grab some reference images but once i do that i'll be popping on my um procreate screen and showing you guys um the master studies that i'm working on so yeah hey how's it going thank you so much little little uh bunsies also i'm trying a new playlist today and it's a little bit chaotic uh and feels a little loud so let me know if it's loud or anything uh <laughs> And uh, yeah, what, what you up to? Are you working? Are you, are you gonna draw? What's going on this Wednesday morning? Okay, so Zach recommended I look up Atlant the movie Atlantis, the Disney movie Atlantis, and do some studies of hands, which I thought would be really fun. So when you look up Atlantis, it comes up with um, what looks like a hotel in Dubai, so that's not right let's see atlantis hands atlantis disney i should have done this before and i'm sorry <laughs> you're gonna draw two but you're not sure what yet nice yeah me too so you can you can look um you can look as well if you want to <laughs> but let's try to grab some hand reference images um from Atlantis. I found a cool resource called Landscape uh, Map Crunch. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. People play like a game. Good morning, Carly. Thanks for being here. That I've seen people play a game with that where they like pull it up on Map Crunch and try to um, try to guess really quickly what where it is. Have you seen that? Pretty cool. How's it going, Carly? Are you working? We're, we're both uh, trying to decide what to, um, trying to find a reference. So the prompt today is master study if you have the time to work on something different. Um, right, right, working in the morning, joining in the evening. Um, yeah, trying to 
reference something that you'd like to learn from in like coffee. You know what a master study is. Atlantis Disney hands. Okay, here's some good references. Okay, now we're talking. They do the square end of hands. Good morning, Kayla. Yay. Making breakfast. Nice. You're welcome to lurk as usual. Anybody can do anything that they want here. So let me see if I can remember the artist that actually um, did the character design for this movie. If Zach was here, he would tell me. Uh, I should know this. Oh, it's the Hellboy guy. Oh, this is a test of my nerddom. Okay, if I just make sure. Oh, God damn it. This, this is one of my, so I know it's not fun to watch, but this is one of my favorite things to do when I can't remember something. Just let my mind churn through. It, it'll come back later. Nobody tell me. I want to remember it. It'll come up. What's my favorite D Disney film? Right now, it's Encanto. So maybe I'll grab some character design reference from Encanto. His name is... Oh, that was so close there. The artist is... Encanto. Have you seen Encanto? What's your favorite Disney film? I also love Lilo and Stitch. Maybe I'll look that up too. Yeah, I'll take some Atlantis character design. Oh, so funny. This little mole guy. A Bug's Life! Oh my god, I loved A Bug's Life when I was a kid. I had a little, one of those ant toys. He was like, posable. Encanto, mm -hmm. Lilo and Stitch! Yeah, I said Lilo and Stitch too, we're similar. Little Mermaid, I also loved Little Mermaid. 90s kid, yeah, we're the, we're the same age, right Carly? 28? Yeah, I think the hands are my favorite part of um, this. Okay, I might have enough hand reference for a little bit and then I can... Okay, I said enough and I only have two pictures saved, so no I don't, sorry. <laughs> Emperor's New Groove. So see, the Emperor's New Groove is one of the reasons, I'm gonna look that up right now. Um, I wanted to do this because for Inktober in 2017, years ago, I did on one of the days just a drawing of Yzma's face and it was one of the most fun things I've ever done. And I felt like I learned a lot just by drawing her. So I'm just gonna download the pictures of her face. So funny. So good to practice drawing from animation, I feel like. Oh my god. The shapes are so fun. I'm looking forward to drawing this guy. I'm gonna draw Kronk. Also loved Emperor's New Groove. Um, are we trying to just do masterclass of Disney films? No, I mean just I am. I am. Um, you can do master study of whatever you want. That's why I just said master study. Um, but this morning as I was showering, I was like, you know what, I really want to do some character design reference and uh, Disney films are just the first thing we're talking about. I was also thinking of grabbing some Steven Universe and other animations and maybe some Miyazaki. Um, but since I, I'm doing it last minute, I'm just trying to, you know, grab what comes up quickly. 
<laughs> Kronk is so funny looking. Give me his whole body though. Oh, this is gonna be great. Yeah, I'm taking any, for me, animation uh, suggestions. You guys know I love your suggestions. Oh, this one's good. Listen, it's a blurry picture, but it's iconic. Okay, then let's grab some Steven Universe 2. Wait, no, I want a full body. Give me a full body. I don't like full bodies much. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Sorry. I know this is not interesting streaming, but I'm behind as usual. I love how angular the designs are in Emperor's New Groove. It's very different from like, Lilo and Stitch is very like, rounded and soft. <laughs> That's good hand practice too. Oh my gosh. So Zach told me that in uh, Emperor's New Groove, they uh, had their like budget plan or something and then it got cut like partway through. And so they had to like work with a more limited budget than they'd start with, started with. Um, and so it, I feel like you, you can kind of see that in the simplification of the shots. Like as I'm looking this up, there's a lot of just like head only shots and I bet that's a much cheaper way to animate than like the like full body things. A good one. Okay, I've got a couple references I can pull up. I can share it with you. Now. And I'm going to do the thing Kayla taught me. Pulling up a reference. Let's see what do I want to start with? I'm gonna start with a face. Uh, Kayla, if you can hear me, do you know how to like, is there a way you can rescale the size of your reference or no? All right, let's, oops, disconnected from my thing, your server. Um, I just realized I'm no longer subscribed. Can you still subscribe via... Oh, thanks for answering, Carly. Yes, I believe you can. Um, and thank you guys for subscribing. Um, I appreciate every little bit, every little, little bit, especially if you're already getting it from, uh, you know, uh, subscribing to Amazon uh, I think I think twitch has something that you have to like reach a hundred dollars in subscriptions before you can pay out I might I might be wrong but that's what it looks like and I think I'm at like forty dollars and I was like oh forty dollars hell yeah my heat on yes um and Carly yes I saw Arcane on Netflix, so fucking good. So beautiful. I normally work landscapes, so there's room for the dragging the corner. Okay, let's see. Oh, there it is. There, thank you, Kayla. Thank you, breakfast, Kayla. All right, let's sketch some characters. What's tedious? The, the payout from the streaming or? All right. 
right. Here we go. It's time. My hands are all literally cold. <laughs> um, all right, let's go. Oh, I like to sketch in 6B pencil. Alright, so she's got... Wow, this face shape. So good. Already loving this. Loving this. Living for this. Oh, <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> oh, getting Prime subscription to work is tedious. Ah, Amazon, and it's from them too. Like, it's their own thing. It sucks. This is what happened last time. I just laughed the whole time at each little detail. I'm like, that looks so good. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. Eye bags. <laughs> the little eye corners. Is this my favorite character design? It might be. It might. It just might be. The little beady eyes. And then we got this purple swoop. Got this, she's got the high, thin eyebrows. Amazing. The like thin little lips. I'm obsessed with her. <laughs> That's it. I want to be a character designer. Like this. I want to be. <laughs> it's decided. I want to make characters like this. These little cheek. <sighs> I'm having so much fun already. <laughs> Each stroke, I feel like I like learned a, a decision that the the, the animators made the character designers made I don't think this is from the actual uh, movie I think this is someone else doing the study maybe I guess I don't know A little chin oh this sharp corner obsessed the way the ears just poke out over the edge. And then, so the nose. Little pug nose. She reminds me of a bug. Bug's life. <laughs> Shannon can think of nothing but bugs. Um, she does kind of look like a bug. Did you know you can get art of books for different- yes! I did, yeah. I love our books. I wanna probably should ask for them for Christmas. I have a Steven Universe one I could go grab and draw from books instead of from pictures on the internet. The Ancanto one. <sighs> I 
love Encanto. How can you take, like, an old lady and make such an iconic character that's still simplified, you know? Because the... The wrinkles are hard to design from. Eyebrow comes down. inner corners of the eye, the thick eyeliner right on the edges. <laughs> okay, the huge eyes and the way they're like pushed up and the like white part of the eyes is huge above it. Amazing. Oh, an, an element I missed. Wow, that's fun. Okay, so the eye is a little thinner than that, like that. And then it rounds around and then <laughs> like eyelashes droop down over. What's it look like over there? Yeah, it like <laughs> hangs out. Does that imply that they're like false eyelashes? Hangs out over. Oops up like that. And then the eyelashes. Oh wait, let me do the teeth first. And the ears. This is good. Shannon, did you, did you end up finding something to draw? Did you choose a reference image? Teeth right. Use the fence. Bring this straight down. Okay, and they're slightly off-center, that's funny. Big front teeth, and they're like uneven. I'm gonna draw an ice cream truck, nice. Drawing from life. And she has like pointed teeth on the end. for the eyelashes, in case they're tricky. You know what, I'm gonna draw the rest of the body first. So she's got big earrings. What about, yeah, a little bigger actually. back to school from going back to school for animation that's it who wants to give me hundred thousand dollars
I'll study my favorite illustrator's books this evening. Owen Darby. And added book covers to the Discord. Thank you, Carly. I'll add my reference oh, to the Discord. Ooh, that's a great idea. Carly. Genius. I think I made these too big. Yeah, drawing from books is great. I have a favorite book that it's not really my style anymore, but it really inspired me when I was younger. Dinotopia. Anybody know know it? Really inspired me from a art standpoint when I was a kid. Without knowing it was like, you know, I wasn't like this is because I want to be an artist. Just was amazed by it. Wait, let me see if I have it. I'll show it. Where is it? Okay. Here we go. Um, this is the actual book from the fourth grade that I took from my fourth grade teacher and never gave back. Look at that. Oh, the like, I didn't know what it was called at the time, but the, the world building of it. I just would pour over it and just like amaze at it. And then when I went to college my freshman year, James Gurney, the, uh, the author and illustrator, came to my school and gave a talk. And saw, did a little drawing for me and signed a piece of paper. Thanks, James Gurney. Look at this. Amazing. It's fine in there. It's like falling apart. <gasps> this one. Wow. Oh. Oh my gosh. I need to look through this some more. It always makes me feel all choked up. And he, uh trying to see he's also he this is like it feels like an art book for a movie but this is just like his project like this is just his book that he made like it's not for anything else it's just it was turned into a movie and like a tv show that weren't very good but he he does he calls this magical realism where he does like i think it's oil painting or I don't know, it's just painting and it's like magical realism incorporating it's like a realistic style with things that don't exist obviously dinosaurs are fake god we all know so yeah that's dinotopia <laughs> thank you back to drawing that's my ad for dinotopia also this artist um james gurney does like tons of stuff on the internet even though this book is from the, what, the 80s? 90s? 1992. Um, so he made like a bunch of books in the 90s and so he's, I think he's probably in his 60s or 70s? His, his 70s, 80s maybe? But he does like live streams of himself drawing. And he also just like goes to parks and, and does a lot of like, uh, plain air drawing and he live streams himself while he, while he does that. Probably has a Twitch actually. You should follow him. 
look it up. James Gurney. <laughs> right. So these are just her shoulders and she's wearing like a little black like slinky dress with this dramatic collar. Oh, it's so funny. And it overlaps with the earrings. That's very good. Asymmetrical. Looks like Good overlapping here. And then it goes around the back. This must be bigger. Children's books are the best! I went through all my art books a few weekends ago. So fun! Graphic novels, yeah. So inspiring. Here, a good purchase. <laughs> Let's see, how does that look? Pretty good. She needs her little old lady pink neck shape. Love that. Love that for her. And then I think I'll just combine these all down, make it smaller. So you can see. And this. Alright, I need you in long mode. Huh. Free size, not you. You. Reference image. There you go. Got a slight tilt to the head. Very funny. Oh, I love her so much. And then uh, this shape. Let's try to get the overall. Looks like Trying to get better at working more sketchy at first. Not easy to tighten down too soon. I think that's why uh, the longer I draw for, the more uh, realistic things get, which makes me look worse. For me, at least. how it like splays out 
kind of goes upward, the little, these little feathers closer to her head, and then it falls over. Big one, and a small one, and a big one again. And it's got these. And it's got these like chaotic <laughs> ones that come out at like a different angle. <laughs> oh, so good. See this one here? how it like comes out at a kind of different angle than the rest of it which makes it look a little messy <laughs> phenomenal we love to see it black dark parts also I think I might like to keep going with this to like see what they do with colored line that's also something I'm wanting to learn from I really don't think this is from the movie mm -mm. I think this is someone else's drawing I guess I don't know the lines look too Mm, sketchy, but maybe this was hand drawn. I wonder how they color. I wonder how they do line art in hand drawn 2D. Do they like do it all in black and then like go over it or something? I don't know. All right, time for the eyelashes. Look especially buggish. Okay, so they're kind of irregularly shaped and a little irregularly placed, and they're kind of hinged, which is funny. And they're thicker at the end. Amazing. Oh, I love, I love it. <laughs> I just can't. I have to laugh. She's just so funny. Oh, does anybody know how to alter a brush so that when you are shading coloring it doesn't layer? Just one flat, flat color. What brush are you using? Because it, it depends on the brush. Um, some of them have like opacity tools so that, or maybe your opacity is turned down. Yeah, some of them like have a, a layering effect that you can change in the, the thing, but maybe someone else can help more directly. Alright, now that we have the sketch, I'm going to combine them. I'd say that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to start... Um... Sorry, I'll make it bigger. Let me move 
some things around a little bit. I think I rotated her head a little too much. Jagged brush. Um, let me see if I can look that up for you. Oh, where's it? What's the jagged brush under? Jagged. Can you search? No. Yeah, let me know what it's under. And then, oh, you figured it out. Nice. Hmm? Under painting. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Usually the painting uh, brushes are designed to layer like that, I think, to mimic paint. I don't see a jagged brush though, but, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I do. Or maybe this one's like pressure sensitivity is, um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, cause it looks like this one has a, uh... okay, this song needs to, Stop. <laughs> yeah, the painting ones are usually trying to like mimic that that variation of brush stroke, I think. So that's a cool one though. I don't like ones that change in opacity um very much. <laughs> What's a good for coloring and flat shading? So what I like for coloring is Freysonet, this under drawing, because I like this bit of texture it gives. I also like that for erasing, but if you want really flat color, what I use is under um, airbrushing, and then I use the hard airbrush. Um, another trick that I've learned recently is uh, using your line art layer as a reference. I don't know if, if you've done this before. So you have your coloring layer here on layer three and your line art layer here on layer five. You can um, tap the line art layer and select reference. And then when you do the color drop, of course you do the like slide to adjust it. Um, it will use your line art layer as the reference for like the bounds, for example. Uh, and it doesn't really look, work well with like a sketchy one, obviously, because it, it can't like fill like that, but you know, something like this. And then that'll like fill it flat. <laughs> and then you have a solid fill layer from. So a better example, if you use like a cleaner brush, like say the, you know, the syrup brush is a very, generally very clean brush. Yeah. You know. Right. 
you you just go back and tap reference again and make sure you turn it off but and then you can tap up here uh, continue coloring with recolor and then move this little stylus around that kind of thing there you go and then you have a, a really cleaned clean solid color from your reference you can then change you can turn the reference off you know and turn your alpha lock on and do some little like you know, sketchy effects. That kind of thing, you get it. There you go. That helps. <laughs> okay. Alright, now let's go color. Also, this song I don't like. Ugh. This playlist is too much. You're welcome. So, I wonder how should I do this? Should I start with, you know what? I think I should do the line art already in the color that it's gonna be. That makes sense. Okay, let's choose an inking brush. I think I was liking this mercury. Okay. Let's turn it down. My, my own music is annoying me, but I don't want to change it, so I'm just going to turn it down. Another one, a different one. Tinderbox? Can you guys hear the garbage outside? Oh, does it sound like thunder? Can't get too slow. This is supposed to be a study. Keep going, Reagan. Slow down. Let's whip it out. I'm trying to place it? Yep. Garbage. Kathunk, thunk, thunk. Okay. I know I'm so unsure about line work. <laughs> da 
that's why we're doing this. Practice. Warming up yet? Still need the heaters on in your room? Can you hear it? Why? Wait. Yes, I am warming up. <laughs> Can you hear my electric heaters? I use the emote. Yay. No, we talked about it last week. <laughs> what really? What did we talk about? Oh, like the weather? Yes, it is. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yes, it is still pretty cold. We had a really warm day, but it's uh, it's been cold. It's been cold. I was like, oh no! Can you hear the heater? Is it is it annoying? Sometimes they make little like clicking noises, you know. Little tapping noises. Are you in uh are you in Washington too? Are you in Portland? I can't remember. How is it around the rest of the world, whoever's here? How's the weather? Portland. All right. I applied to Rose City Comic Con. Hopefully I'll be down there soon. And my sister lives there. Do you know the Portland Indie Game Squad people? Will Lewis? Marla Dobb. You're working, by the way, so if, I, if I'm talking too much to you, you, you don't have to you can say, leave me alone. <laughs> I know you're working. That's what I mean. <laughs>
I saw them at a booth at the video game expo. Oh, nice. They're super nice if you're interested in, I mean, anything with video games. Uh, I met them at GeekOlcon when I first started tabling, and they're so nice. And they have, but even if you're if you if you're not, if you just want like some fun community, they've got a great Discord community, and they do like games online and like hangouts. They they just did a art and code night yesterday, and I went and I sketched some more ghosts. Oh, by the way, I'll show you. I'll show you guys. Oh, where is it? Oh, here. This is one that I I'm gonna print out and paint soon. Drew it last night. Very fun. I feel like I'm taking too long. <laughs> Dark, like magenta. A little more red. is fun it's good to you know also study from the the line art technique um with wit, uh, wits thickness such width and such forth Too bad. Get the old flip hor flip horizontal. Looking pretty good.
<laughs> her yellow eyes. Okay. Get that the right color. Ooh. Two. Maybe I should color in her skin first. See if we can match this. One more red. What was that? That's pretty good. A little lighter, I think. Ah! One more red. That's gonna affect how the yellow comes out, eh? I'm also gonna have to pull my line art layer up to the top. All right, now let's see the yellow. Ooh. Alright, well it's about 12. Maybe I should hurry up and like block in the color so we can generally say this is done for the morning. Good study. And... Yeah. And then we can go about our day. Meet up again at six. Not sure if there's anything anybody wants to share on the Discord, but I'd love to admire it. If anybody does, just pop it in the gallery wall on the Art Town Discord and let me know in the chat here if you did, if there's anything that comes up. Um, And just a reminder, um, next week's, uh, if you, I think, I don't know if everybody's voted, but next week, the Wednesday live stream, you guys get to vote on what we do, what the topic is. I think faces is winning, face practice, like pulling up photos of picture people and drawing faces. Oh, and while a couple of you are here, I want to ask, um, do you guys have any thoughts about this, like, practice prompt? And, like, watching, doing, like, practices like this, or, like, exercises? Um, or do you think you might be more interested in seeing me work on, like, finished art, or, like, product art, or more ghosts, that kind of thing? Um, I thought this might be fun just as like a way to practice, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this type of stream. Do you have a preference? Do I like both? You could do either. Down for anything. A mix of both is fun. Good suggestion. Good, good, good to hear. She is so funny. Mix of both. Nice. Okay, good to know.
her. <laughs> She's so cute. Let's try a uh, color layer effect. Change her eyebrows. The eyebrows are key to this like manic look. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, see this. So this brush that I'm using, for example, the Gissent. Yasinski ink it also does that like because it's kind of transparent so it looks like it increases the opacity the more like you layer over top of it let's try to do it darker mm. huh. a little too textured huh. Too big. Amazing. She's delightful. I don't want to stop. <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> oh, I said... <laughs> I said, that's funny. I, th I think, uh... I meant to say I don't want to stop. Or did I? I don't know. Oh, right. This is a lighter purple color now. Okay. Do not like this music. This one's a this one's a fail. I'll have to make my own playlist. 
so hard. So hard to put together streamer friendly music that uh doesn't sound like Garvini. This is not the type of music I listen to normally, if anybody cares. Um, not that this is bad. I normally listen to like sad folk music or podcasts. I usually listen to podcasts while I work. Not this. Not anything like like any of this streamer music. We don't have a lot of choices. Ooh, our game music. I was thinking of putting on the Discord a like a like a concert hall, calling it the concert hall, and people can put their like work music in. I have a playlist of video game music that I listen to. Usually when I don't, you know, when I need to focus. I think I've shared it on Instagram. But then everybody can share there. Their work music too. What if they find a good work playlist, you know? You know? You know what I mean? We're doing color matching now. <laughs> so it feels like we're just in college. All right, I should stop. I should stop because oh. the practice is over. I can stop. I can't. I can't. I must see it finished. No, but you won't. It'll take too long. But will it? Maybe if you just keep going, it won't take too long. It doesn't work that way. Look, I'm an animator. and it's just practice. You can go. No, I can't. I've got to fill it out. Can you 
if I really don't. Well, what if I do? Where are you gonna go? Do something else. Nothing else to do. Practice. What does even practice though? You're just You're just drawing you're just drawing shapes. Yeah, but what if you know it doesn't look good when I fill out? Fill it out there. Now you can see the full shape. <laughs> okay, gosh. All right. Um, that's enough for now. <laughs> uh, thank you all for joining for this morning. This was some excellent practice. Um, I'm very satisfied with how this is. Uh, with this practice and I would love to do this um, all the time and it was good okay yeah the next the next uh, stream is tonight at six you can come or not if you don't want to you know um, and if anybody does want to come and hasn't done their artist uh, their art town residency card that's another good project you can do at night and if you do any master studies at any point the next week or anytime you can share it and I'll share it on the stream um, or just share it with everybody else you know it's good but yeah I'm gonna head out go make myself lunch I want to thank you guys for joining me thank you for supporting me on art town if anybody's lurking here doesn't already follow or subscribe you can follow or subscribe me check out my patreon at patreon.com slash ragonia the link should be in my description boop, boop, boop. and now it's time to go do the rest of our day thanks for being here guys i'll see you tonight have a good day where's my ending scene there we go and boom and boom <laughs>